Hey, on EL Now, it's a triple whammy of new music videos as we check out the new music from Nigerian rapper M.I., Kenya's Victoria Kimani, and Maven Records' Dr. Sid. Coming up, Aya singer Davido debunks pregnancy rumors. He's followed by Two-Face Adibia, who responds to allegations of impregnating a Lagos banker. Also on the show today, we're in South Africa's Doberg to hang out with owner of fashion store Peru's Lego. It's EL Now. Believe me, it is always a pleasure to come on your screen to share some of my overflowing joys with you. It is Monday, that day that everybody loves to hate, but then again, that's why I'm in the business of bringing the sunshine into your world. Wow, Zaina, what happened to you over the weekend? I mean, you're, you're glowing. The last time I saw you like this was the day after Valentine. So, did you get some more Valentine over the weekend? Hey King, please, can you just do me a little favor? And what could that be? Mind your business. Okay, like she can survive a day without my dose of trouble. So moving on, Joburg is arguably Africa's hippest hop for art, entertainment and fashion. That's right, and that is why EL now got a little chatty with Roxy Ferreira, who owns a top fashion brand in Johannesburg. Following that, we would look at an historical event that highlights in no unclear terms the vibrancy of the African film industry. Not forgetting Music Mondays with our girl Lamy Day. So you see, even if you have a thousand reasons to dislike Monday, we've got a million reasons why you should love it. All of that goodness is coming right at you after the news. Hi guys and welcome aboard! We're kickstarting today on a train of new music releases. First up is Chocolate City rapper M.I., who in celebration of Black History Month and Fallen African Heroes, has released a spanking new video titled Superman. Featuring artist HHP, the somber track is off his Illegal Music 2 mixtape. The reflective and evocative track sees fusions reminiscent of Frank Ocean and Wizzy and doesn't disappoint in the lyrical compartment. M.I. will be releasing his third studio album sometime this year. Next, we move over to Chocolate City, Kenya's first lady, Victoria Kimani, who features Prezo and AY in the video Whoa. EL Now News gathers that the East African remix of Woe was self-directed by Victoria herself for her Queen Victoria mixtape. After the success of the hit track Mtoto, this marks the singer's directorial debut. The video also features MTV sugar Emmanuel Ikubese, who plays the role of her rich lover. And there is Dr. Sid with a new video for the track Kilongwa. The video was directed by Daniel Ugo and is taken from Sid's seduction album. We can't help but give a major thumbs up for the infectious instrumental of the track. Sadly, we wish we could say the same for the lyrical content of the track or the video. But hey, do let us know what you think. Hit us up on ebonylivetv.com slash EL now. One go from Lagos to Chicago. Moving on, IA singer Davido has hit back at allegations that he had put a UK-based South African model, Sunshy Hayes, through the family way. Earlier last month, rumors had surfaced following the model, who was then said to be pregnant with twins for the Gobe singer. Davido has broken the long spell of silence, taking to Twitter to clear the air on the matter, saying that he's single and not expecting any babies. The pressure to speak must have followed after he mistakenly uploaded a picture of him and a model, sharing an intimate moment. See Gobe? We think not. Speaking of pregnancy rumors, Two-Face Adibia has also debunked pregnancy rumors which last week played the singer and his wife Annie following a front page report on Icon Weekly which claimed the singer was expecting a child with a Lagos banker. EL Now News gathers that Two-Face's management has come out with an official statement to deny the rumors linking the multiple award-winning star to the Ekiti banker by the name of Eniola. According to the statement on BellaNiger.com, Two-Face calls for journalistic truth and integrity, labeling the allegations as baseless and vicious. Two-Face and his wife Annie, who also has taken to Twitter to clear the air, got married in February last year in a lavish ceremony in Dubai and have a combined number of seven children between them. They both welcomed a new addition to their family, little Olivia Idibia, last month. Coming up, the good book advises against not despising the days of humble beginnings. And today we will be looking at some of our musical stars who can trace their beginnings to their local church choir. Wow, and to balance things up, we return with our usual dose of comedy. And like a certain wise man said, one dose of wacky to eat a day keeps the doctor away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is EL Now.